Hi everyone, John here from All Miniatures Great and Small and I just wanted to show you our new filming space that Jake designed. Uh, I know I've had a few comments already about this space and I thought I'd show you what was going on back here in the background since during a normal battle report or talk you can't really see anything in detail. So um, we took some of our bookcases and put out some of our games. For example, Flames of War. Forty K, there's some of Jake's Eldar. Some of my Primaris Space Marines. Age of Sigmar. And here we've got Robotech Miscellaneous Spaceships 101 Blood Bowl Down below we have some armies that are going to be played with so kind of in storage so we've got some Germans for the new Waffen SS D-Day book The next wing we've got some of my early war French for Flames of War love those guys some more ultramarines. So we didn't go up here. We'll go up here above the Flames of War shelf. We have some Adeptus Titanicus. There's Jake's. Some Aeronautica Imperialis. All on the same scale, which is nice. Some of my guys. Up higher we have some Tyranids. Part of Jake's knight collection. Notice I only say part. We can see he kept his scheme of purple to purple, which is cool. Then traveling over here in the glass case, we have some of our Star Wars Legion. Some of my favorite models are in this collection. Like that snow speeder. That scout walker is great. Beneath that, we've got some of my World War II aircraft collection. These are mostly die cast. I did build some of these. These are 172nd scale Pacific Theater, United States Naval. Down below, we've got Japanese. Same thing. I think most of these, if not all, are die cast, as well as. Some more ultramarines down there in the very bottom. I think the ones that you painted are actually up here for now. I haven't found a spot for them yet. Oh, there we go. Yep. Like, that's one you definitely painted. And then I think you also, yeah, you have a zero up here. And then this Corsair you painted as well. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I do have a thing for World War II Pacific. <laughs> it's pretty cool. So... There you go guys, that's kind of a look at the background here at All Miniatures Great and Small. And if I'm, you guys were curious on the lights too, um, all of these lights in here are Aperture, um, which is kind of a film light uh, company. I'm in the cinematography program at ASU, so I have lots of film gear. Um, and these lights are super great because I can, they're on an app called Cytus Link, mm -hmm. and I can change the color anytime I want, so that's why you guys have been seeing some fun colors. And we have like a fire setting for Flames of War that we're going to only use for that one. And we're going to try to do a color um, specific for each game and whatnot. Um, but yeah, so that's super handy. And I can do, I can basically change anything about them, which is really fun. Yeah, and that's awesome. And that's uh, one of the things that we're trying to improve our quality here at All Miniatures Great and Small. Yeah. And with our newly uh, released Patreon 2, supporting us helps us maintain and improve our equipment and do more cool things like this. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. The more money we get, the better it's going to look, <laughs> which is cool. All right, guys. Well, there you go. There's a quick look at our background here at the studio at All Miniatures Great and Small. As always, thanks for watching and keep on wargaming.